Assalamu alaikum. Here is another vlog in my series of vlogs on critical theory simplified. So today we are going to discuss Marxist criticism. So what is Marxist criticism? Marxism borrows some concepts from the 19th century writings of Karl Henrik Marx, though many of Marx's ideas gained popularity in the 20th century. A premise of Marxist criticism is that literature can be viewed as ideological and that it can be analyzed in terms of a base and superstructure model. Marx argues that the economic means of production in a society account for its base. A base determines its superstructure. Human institutions and ideologies that produce art and literary texts comprise the superstructure. Marxist criticism thus emphasizes class, socioeconomic status, and power relations among various segments of the society. So let's discuss the key terms first. What is class? Class is a classification or grouping typically based on income and education. Alienation. What is alienation? A condition called uh, Marx. Uh, ascribed to individuals in a capitalist economy who lack a sense of identification with their jobs, with their labor and products. The base. The base means uh, the means, for example, tools, machines, factories, natural resources and relations, for example, proletariat and bourgeoisie or production that shape and are shaped by the superstructure, the, dom the dominant aspect in the society. And what is superstructure? The social institutions, such as systems of law, morality, education, and their related ideologies that shape and are shaped by the base. What are the major assumptions of Marxism? Marxist criticism places a literary work within the context of class and uh, assumptions about class. A premise of Marxist criticism is that literature can be viewed as ideological and that it can be analyzed in terms of base and superstructure model. For example, human institutions and ideologies, including those relevant to a patriarchy that uh, produce art and literary texts comprise the superstructure. Karl Marx theorized that human beings are the product of their social and economic environment. Marxist criticism thus emphasizes class, socioeconomic status, power relations among various segments of the society and the representation of those segments. Marxist literary criticism is valuable because it enables readers to see the role that class plays in the plot of a text. Literature for Marx belongs to superstructure along with law, theology, and politics. The challenge then is to see how literature is influenced by the economic base. Marx himself often treated literature as simple propaganda for the ruling classes. There is some truth in this. For instance, in a feudal society, people loved chivalric romances or stories about the knights. In today's capitalistic society, Many people enjoy watching James Bond movies or Marvel movies. We celebrate the glamorous lifestyle of the modern gentleman. In these cultural fantasies, it is the aristocrat or the capitalist who comes to our rescue and saves us from imaginary villains that seek to destroy the status quo. Marxist scholars like Walter Benjamin and uh, Brecht considered art as a social production. Walter Benjamin's essay, The Author as Producer, published in 1934, addresses the question, what is the literary work's position within the relations of production of its time? Benjamin tries to argue that artistic production depends upon certain techniques of production, which are part of the productive forces of art, like the publishing, theoretical presentation, and so on. A, re a revolutionary artist should not uncritically accept the existing force, forces of artistic production, but should develop and revolutionize those forces. It helps in the creation of new social relations between artist and audience. In this process, authors, readers, and spectators become collaborators. 
The experimental uh, theater developed by Brecht is a realization of Benjamin's concept. The French Marxist thinker Louis Althusser further developed the Marxist approach through the introduction of various concepts like overdetermination, ideology, etc. According to him, ideology is a system of representations endowed with an existence and a historical role at the heart of a given society. It obscures social reality by naturalizing beliefs and by promoting values that support it. The civil society spreads ideology through the law, textbooks, religious rituals, and norms, so that the people imbibe them even without their knowledge. Ideology is instituted by the state uh, uh, through two operatrices, repressive state operatrices and ideological state operatrices. The RSA includes law, court, prison, police, army, etc., and the ISA include political parties, schools, media, churches, family, literature, art, etc. So what is the method in Marxist criticism when we try to apply these assumptions in our analysis of a literary text? What do we do as critics? You don't have to be a Marxist to do a Marxist analysis of literature. In literary theory, a Marxist interpretation reads the text as an expression of contemporary class struggle. Literature is not simply a matter of personal expression or taste. It somehow relates to the social and political conditions of the time. Marxist critics try to answer the questions such as, does class restrict or empower the characters in the, in the text? How does the text depict a struggle between classes or how does class contribute to the conflict of the text? What classes or socioeconomic state statuses are represented in the text? Are all the segments of society accounted for or does the text exclude a particular class? Here is an example. A Marxist approach to Langston Hughes' poem, advertisement for the for the world of Astoria might examine how the socioeconomic status of the speaker and other citizens of New York affect the speaker's perspective. The world of Astoria opened during the midst of the Great Depression. Thus the poem speaker uses sarcasm to declare fine living, come to the world of Astoria, listen hungry ones, look, see what Vanity Fear says about the new world of Astoria. The speakers of uh, the speaker further expresses how class contributes to the conflict described in the poem by contrasting the targeted audience of the hotel with the citizens of its surrounding area. So when you have no place else to go, homeless and hungry, once choose the Waldorf as, as a background of your rags. Hughes' poem invites readers to consider how class restricts particular segments of the society. What are the limitations of Marxist criticism? The biggest disadvantage of using Marxist liter literary criticism is that it only focuses on one aspect of the work being analyzed. Marxist, Marxism uh, focuses primarily on the socioeconomic divide between classes, proletariat versus bourgeoisie, which can be restrictive when analyzing a literary work. Because a theory believes uh, classicism is the reason for uh, all the ills, this theory only focuses on addressing and solving this one-sided problem. So to conclude, Marxist uh, thought uh, has undergone huge uh, transformation over the years, befitting to the claim of Marx that change is the only unchanging phenomena in this world. It has been the backbone of all, almost all modern theories of culture and criticism. It may be a paradox that while Marxist practices have received setbacks in recent years, Marxist theory has been widely accepted all over the world. I hope that you would have enjoyed this uh, brief uh, presentation on Marxism. I've tried to simplify it for you. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to your feedback and comments. 
goodbye and God bless you all.